Hey everyone, this is Jim Cook, and today I'm going to show you 17 great ways you can use custom apps to market your photography business to attract and retain clients. If you are not aware of how photographers are using apps, this presentation is for you. If you are one of the thousands of photographers that are already using apps, but are only using apps in a couple of ways, this presentation will unleash the power of apps in your business. It is my belief that once you are exposed to all these methods, apps will take over your business like a zombie virus, but in a very good way. So who is this Jim Cook fellow anyways? Well, this is a picture of me. A few years ago, Melissa, my wife, and I went to Las Vegas and took in the Donnie and Marie Osmond show. Great times. Marie took out some lipstick and drew lips on my forehead. She made me feel special. It was an evening I will never forget. I'm a fun seeker, foodie, I need to lose weight. I love, love, oh my goodness, I love Robert Graham shirts, but unfortunately I can't afford them. Such are the struggles of life. My favorite word is awesome, and I am a rabid UK, University of Kentucky basketball fan. I am a software engineer and a photographer, and those two desperate skills combined into the creation of my photo app the absolute best app builder out there, bar none. It is totally awesome. Because my photo app occupies most of my time, Melissa and our son Michael run our studio that primarily focuses on pageant and high school senior photography. As the inventor of my photo app, I have been involved in thousands of conversations with photographers and I know how they are using my photo app. Heck, all the good features in my photo app came from these conversations on how they wanted to incorporate my photo app more and more in their business. You see, my photo app was originally an app that displayed photos, hence the name. But over the last five years, it has grown into so much more. Today, it is bursting with features that are there for the sole purpose of helping photographers make more money. Gary Bach said it best when he recently said that my photo app is not an expense, it is a profit center. And let me take a second to say, if you don't know who Gary Box is, you should. He is an awesome photographer and educator from Oklahoma and runs one of the very best Facebook groups, Inside the Box. If you're into portrait photography, you must join this group. It is fabulous. For those who are new to the concept of apps, let me give you a quick overview. I would think everyone knows what an app is, but if you don't, an app is a computer program that runs on your mobile device. If you have a smart mobile device like an iPhone, Android phone, or a tablet, then those colorful icon buttons are apps. An app builder lets you create your own apps for yourself or your clients. My Photo App is a computer program that you, regardless of your skill level, can easily build custom apps that you can use to distribute to your clients or for general marketing purposes. My photo app is sort of like Photoshop, except instead of images as being the output of using Photoshop, apps are the output of using My Photo App. You use a computer to create your apps. These apps you build are able to run on mobile devices like phones and tablets, and unlike your other apps you're familiar with, these apps you build can also run on computers. They are easily distributed just by sharing a link. You don't even need to use the App Store, so you avoid all those hassles. After the initial learning curve, it only takes about one minute to build a new app. Here is a link to a YouTube video that shows you how to actually build an app in My Photo App. So now that you have a high level understanding of what an app builder is, let's see all the ways you can use apps in your photography business. Method one, increase brand awareness through client apps. The majority of photographers use this method as it helps them spread their brand far and wide. Client apps are apps you create for clients. They have your branding on them and your client's pictures. They are totally customized for the client and are also known as vanity apps. Who wouldn't want their own personal app on their mobile device? This strategy is to give apps to every client with their pictures on them. What is great about apps is that they are on people's mobile devices, 
which are always with them. Think of them as a modern day wallet photo album that are easily shared with family and friends. This is a great way to kickstart apps in your business. You have a bunch of past clients, right? Create apps for them and give it to them as gifts. This is a great way to stay in touch with them and maybe even remind them that it's time for them to visit you again so they can update their apps with current pictures. Make them feel special like Marie Osmond made me feel special. Since clients always have their phones with them, they not only have their pictures with them, but they have your brand with them. This is great for word of mouth marketing. To be referable, you need to provide a remarkable service and your clients need a reason to refer you. For example, they may be out with a friend who either directly asks them about a photographer recommendation or it could be more casual such as, I notice your new profile picture. With your clients armed with an app, they can take that conversation from a weak referral to a strong referral as they have something tangible that they can share with their friends, the app. This will raise the engagement level as your clients get to show off their pictures and their friend now has something more concrete to base their decision on on whether to contact you or not. This is a way to differentiate you from other photographers as apps are still relatively new to the industry. You are the cool photographer who has apps. One thing to mention here is that people usually don't get the value of apps right away. So when you are with your client like during a photo session or during a sales session or whenever, whip out your phone and demonstrate a sample app. Once they see it, they will want it. When you show them the app, model the behavior you want them to do when they share their app. Get excited and show them how cool apps are and more importantly, how awesome apps are for sharing their pictures with friends and relatives. Plant seeds and watch them grow. Here's an example of a client app. Branding on the top, then contact buttons, client images, and a form at the bottom. Forms are important parts of apps as a way to remind and easily start the engagement process. I have provided a link here so you can see an app in action. While they work on a computer, they are extra cool on a mobile device. So when you get a chance, type in the URL on your mobile web browser and experience an app firsthand. Method two is similar to method one, but instead of giving apps away, you put a price on them and sell them just like you would any other product you sell. One of the best features of apps is that there are no variable costs associated with them like your other products. Even though you can create apps for practically nothing, the value to your client is high, so make sure they are priced appropriately. If you don't sell digital images, this is a great way to satisfy the digital image desires of your clients. Sell them an app instead. Usually when you probe why people want digital images, it is to share, either with family or friends, or putting them up on social media. The app can do that, and it is better in that your branding and contact info follow along. Once you demonstrate the app, people will want it. Method three, upsell incentive. You place the app in some of your higher end packages and that is the only way they can get the app is to purchase such a package. This is used to entice your clients to purchase the packages you want to sell most. Another way to use apps is as a bargaining chip. If people are purchasing below what you want to sell, you can include the app with something else to get them to purchase more. A win-win situation. You get the money you need, they get something of value. Here's an example that Tom Usher, an awesome photographer from Ohio, posted on Facebook. He titled it, Another Poor Sale Saved by My Photo App. The net of the story is that the client wasn't purchasing enough to make it worth his time. He increased the sale by providing a free app if they would purchase an album. They did. Win-win. This is a perfect example of thinking fast on your feet and using my photo app to drive value into his business. Here's how Gary Box uses apps in his upsell. His approach is somewhat unique in that client apps are digital versions of albums he sells. Instead of individual photos, he includes album page layouts in the apps. Gary creates an app for all his custom albums. It's free with the custom albums, 
but build as a digital version of your album. If clients want it in any of his lower based albums, it's $149, so that offsets some of the cost. This is a big factor on him selling so many custom albums. Gary has a Photoshop action that downsizes the page spreads, watermarks them, and saves them to a folder to easily drop them into his app template. This is a great process using apps to move clients into the products he wants to sell. Method 4. The Portfolio App You create an app that is your digital business card so that when you are out and about and interacting with potential clients, you can easily pull up your work and share it with them. This is a much more dynamic and impactful presentation of your work and progresses the conversation to a deeper, more rich one. This is similar to the word of mouth marketing I was describing earlier, but instead of your clients, it is you marketing yourself. If you don't have a polished elevator speech prepared, and you should, your portfolio app will help you as each picture you show will give you something to talk about and that is more opportunity to connect with potential clients. How many times have you talked to someone and they popped out their app? If you're like most people, this rarely happens. So just the act of having an app and sharing it makes you stand out from the crowd and differentiates you from others. Method 5. Digital Guide Apps You can use apps in every form of information sharing with your clients. This lets you have a consistent communication channel and is perfect for clients who mostly use mobile devices instead of a computer. And this is the case more and more each day it seems. If you are working with moms, think about how many kid activities consume their time. They can view your information wherever they are, like at a soccer practice for example. Consider digital versions of stuff you would normally print, such as a price guide or a clothing guide. You get all the benefits, such as clients being able to share your content with others, which is much harder for any written material you provide, and you can make changes anytime you want, and your changes are reflected in all copies immediately. Typos being a costly mistake are now a thing of the past. No more worries about outdated information either. You can even personalize these apps so they are specific to a particular client. Let me show you some examples. Here is a gorgeous product guide that Tammy Howe, an awesome photographer located in Louisville, Kentucky, provides to her clients. It is a fabulous presentation. Imagine your client's reaction if you provide something similar. Here is a great example of a personalized session app from Breakaway Seniors, an awesome photography team located in Southern California. They made this specifically for one of their seniors, Kiara, and her sessions. They tailor their information guides to their particular clients. Talk about creating a memorable experience. Method 6. Website Replacement Does your website suck on a mobile device? If you haven't recently, you need to go and check out your website using a mobile device. If it is not top notch, you need to replace it immediately. I would hazard a guess, and I think I would be right, that most people are accessing your site on a mobile device. Over 50% of the visitors that visit our studio site are on a mobile device, and that is just going to grow over time. You need to make your website a first-rate experience from mobile devices. Be mobile friendly. There are two ways you can do this. One, you can create a mobile friendly website on my photo app to totally replace your site. Or two, Create a mobile-friendly website and put some code on your current website that automatically redirects mobile traffic to your MyPhotoApp website. The latter is what most people are doing today, but I suspect over time the former will be more common. And with MyPhotoApp's custom URL capability, you can easily have your domain in the URL. MyPhotoApp has increased to the power that it is viable to use as a replacement for your website. This could turn into a nice savings if you are currently paying a monthly fee for website hosting. Using MyPhotoApp as the main website is going to get more popular in the coming years. It's just a matter of time. Our studio, Cook Designer Portraits, uses a MyPhotoApp website. 
Method seven, microsites. Microsites are small, single function websites. Need a website for a specialty? For example, you may not want to place boudoir photos on your high school senior photography website. So you can create a My Photo App micro website and dedicate it to boudoir. Photoboothkentucky.com is an example of such a micro website. It is a website that is dedicated to the photo booth division of Cook Designer Portrait. With the ease of being able to create websites in My Photo App, these microsites should be a common practice for any photographer who has specialties. Method eight, sales funnels and lead pages. My Photo App is a very good platform for creating digital sales funnels and lead pages. A sales funnel is nothing more than a sales process. I think this is one of the hidden superpowers of My Photo App. The goal of a lead page or a sales funnel is to help get more customers. There are a bunch of different types of sales funnels, but two I want to talk about today is the fishbowl sales funnel and the tripwire sales funnel. A fishbowl sales funnel you probably see all the time when you go out to eat. People drop in their business cards in a fishbowl for a chance to win something, usually a lunch. A tripwire sales funnel is sort of like a fishbowl sales funnel, but instead you are offering something of value in return for their contact information, typically an email. It may include a nominal fee. The idea is you are trading something of value for a way to market to these people in the future. You must offer something that is attractive to your target market. This was just a high level overview of funnels. I really think this is important and an underused technique to help drive traffic into a studio. So much so that I am developing a webinar specifically focused on sales funnels. We will do a deeper dive into the concepts of sales funnels and how to implement them in my photo app. Nick Picaro, Senior Inspire. Nick Picaro is an awesome photographer located in Illinois, and he is also a social media marketing guru. He runs a great Facebook group called Senior Inspire. Senior Inspire is a place to discuss social media and marketing ideas geared towards photographers. Here's a link to the group. But more pertinent to the topic of sales funnels, is Nick created a course on lead pages and how my photo app is the technology he uses to create lead pages. Here is a link to the course and is well worth your time taking it. The link here will give you a 25% discount. At least it works today. No guarantees about the future. Method nine, cross marketing. You can be a hero creating apps for vendors or business partners you have a relationship with. Even if you don't have a relationship, an app could be your Trojan horse to establish a new relationship. Also, think about organizations you belong to that could use an app. When you create these apps, of course, they should have your information as part of it. By cross-promoting with others, you have access to each other's sales channels and clientele. Do you have a relationship with a hairstylist or makeup artist? I am certain they would love to have an app to promote their business. Developing apps for charitable organizations and events will certainly put a lot of good karma in your life. So be generous and develop apps for others. Good things will come of it. Method 10, creating apps or websites to sell to other businesses. Many photographers are creating apps on the side and selling them to businesses. Some are even creating new divisions in their company dedicated to making apps and selling apps to other businesses. Building apps is a good match for photographers because they already use apps in their business and have acquired the skills to do so. Your photography skills are, are a good complement to building apps for sure. If you do commercial photography, you can add an app as an option to your clients. Apps are normally priced with a one-time charge and a monthly fee to cover updates. This is a great way to generate income if you have a slow season like many photographers do. Tim Hensel, an awesome photographer who lives in the UK, has a branded side business developing and selling apps. Here's his website, which is a My Photo app. He is practicing what he preaches. You really need to check out this app and see the possibilities. 
Tim definitely likes to push the envelope and is a master at making apps for businesses. But he is not alone. There are many others doing the same and building apps for other businesses is growing in popularity. David Quisenberry is an awesome photographer located in McKinney, Texas. He was one of the very first users of my photo app. He runs a Facebook group dedicated to building apps for other businesses. So if this is something that interests you, definitely head over there and check it out. Method 11, Agreements. With the Forms feature of my photo app and the ability to capture signatures, you certainly can develop agreements and contracts. For example, a model release app is pretty common. You always have the app on your phone and before you start shooting, whip it out and have them sign it. Think about all the ways you use paper in your business and see how many ways you can go green and switch to apps. Of course, always consult your lawyer for any legal advice for your location. Method 12, proofing. My photo app has two proofing features. The ability to like images and then send them to the photographer and a shopping cart feature where orders are sent to the photographer for them to invoice and fulfill. At Cook Designer Portraits, we do both in-person sales and proofing depending on the client type. Method 13, Instagram Bridge. This is an idea that Nick Porcaro came up with and it is great. Here are some posts where he shares his idea. Instagram only permits one link and that is in the user's profile. Use this link to point to an app that is a gateway to your other apps and websites. For example, we have an app that has seven sections. One, senior model. Two, pageant headshots. Three, senior pictures. Four, modeling portfolios. Five, business headshots. Six, wedding photography. And seven, photo booth. He has been doing this for a while. And once we did this, we ended up with a much better response as opposed to focusing on only one area the app covers us across all areas we want to focus on. So if you're on Instagram, and you should if you're not, go to the template bazaar in my photo app and pull up Nick's template that he shared. Here's an example of what it looks like. You can see the areas he is focusing on. Method 14, data collection. You can use apps to collect data from your clients. Think of things like using my photo app as a survey mechanism or as a way to solicit testimonials. After they have visited you, send them an email with a link to the app that asks for feedback on their experience. You may have seen a few months ago on the my photo app website that I asked a simple question. How would you describe my photo app to a photography friend who didn't know anything about it? The purpose of the question was to help me understand how users perceive my photo app. I think I know what my photo app is, but I was wondering what users thought. Unexpectedly, what I got for the responses were amazing referrals. Besides giving me a big head, I filled up the MyPhotoApp.com website with a bunch of testimonials. Don't be afraid to ask your customers. Method 15, loyalty programs. My photo app has a loyalty section. A loyalty program is where establishments keep track of how often someone visits their business and rewards repeat customers. This was primarily added when building apps for other businesses, but it certainly can apply to photographers. Reward repeat customers and do it with an app. Method 16, model programs. This is mostly used in the United States. High school senior photographers are using apps to reach their target market. If you have a senior model, ambassador, representative, crew program, or whatever you call it, and you do not use apps, you are missing out big time. In my best Julia Roberts pretty woman impersonation, big mistake, big, huge. I have to go shopping now. Awesome senior photographers like Dan Rowe and Dan Freevault are crushing their senior market and apps are helping them do that. Many senior photographers are using printed model rep cards. By switching away from cards to apps, not only do you save money on printing costs, you get a broader exposure. And let me just mention that if you do high school senior photography, Dan Freevault runs my favorite Facebook group dedicated to the art of high school senior photography. It's called Seniors Unlocked. Here's a link to it. Go check it out. 
And if you're shooting or wanting to shoot high school seniors and you want to implement a killer senior model program, head over to Dan's Senior Unlocked website and check out his Model Rep Success Pack. It is awesome. It shows you how to create a kick-ass model rep program that stands out. Here are a couple of posts that Dan Rowe has posted on Facebook about how he uses apps in his business. I won't read them here, but I must confess that I tend to get a big sense of pride when Dan or any other photographer posts the success they are achieving and how my photo app is helping them. Dan is a prolific speaker and if you ever get a chance to hear him, make sure you prioritize that over others as he is awesome. And he even uses apps when speaking to manage his giveaways. Did I mention that apps are like a zombie virus? Method 17, Baby Plan. I call this the Baby Plan app because it is common for parents to sign up for a recurring commitment to get pictures, primarily during the first year. It certainly can be used for other session types where there is an expectation or commitment for return visits over a period of time. You create an app and fill in the pictures from the first session. Put placeholders in the app gallery for future visits to remind the client that there is still work to do to complete their commitment and their app. Each subsequent session, add images to the app to fill it up. The app will grow in value over time as more images are added. When you make changes to app, anyone who has apps already installed on their device will get updated automatically. This may be obvious to some, but you can combine these methods into a single app to compound the value the app provides. In general, apps should always have a contact form to provide a way for real engagement with clients. In the My Photo App Builder, there is a template tab. There are many templates over there to jumpstart your app development so you can start to incorporate more ways you are using apps in your business. If you are not using My Photo App to build apps to help supercharge your photography business, you should at least give it a try. We make that easy by providing a 7-day fully functional trial and a 30-day money-back guarantee. So head over to the My Photo App website and check it out. If you are currently using My Photo App, I would like to challenge you to adopt at least one of these new methods within the next 30 days. And finally, for sitting through this presentation, here is a gift for you. 10% off using the coupon WEBINAR. To redeem, head over to My Photo App and log in. If you are new, create a trial account. Once logged in, go to the License tab and enter WEBINAR in the coupon field. I will take this coupon down, so if you are watching this as a replay, it may not work. But if it does work, use it today because it may not work tomorrow. Best of luck and happy app building.